Welcome to the mountain, my friends. Now that the dome is up and we've got our bathroom and shower, it's time for an office. But for that, we're going to need more power. All right, before we get too far into it, let's explain a few terms for anyone who might not know. When we're talking about power, we're talking about watts. Watts are volts multiplied by amps. Volt is like electrical pressure. Amp is like electrical flow. Pretty much everything that you own that plugs into a wall is going to list the voltage and the amperage on it. So this is 20 volts, 7.5 amps, so that's 150 watts. Now batteries for solar are generally listed by amp hours. And then you've got the voltage rating of the battery as well. So a 12 volt battery listed at 100 amp hours can provide 1200 watt hours. So that means that one battery, when fully charged, can power something that consumes one watt for 1200 hours or something that consumes say 120 watts for 10 hours. I got these from Santan Solar for $35 a piece. They're 240 watt solar panels. It'll be a significant upgrade to the one 100 watt solar panel that we have. Obviously I'm not gonna use them all at once. The reason that they're so cheap is that the vinyl on the back is cracked. And the guy said that typically what people do is they just put some lacquer on the back to reseal it up or flex seal or that sort of thing. So I'm gonna try a little experiment here. I got flex seal, I got plasti dip, and I got just Rust-Oleum lacquer. And you can see clear, white, and black. That was intentional. So what I figure I'll do is I'll spray the backs of each one with one of the different options and see how it works out and maybe do an update to this video in 20 years when one of them fails. Oh, it's really bright to look at. So 100 watt, 240 watt, significant difference in size and weight. I didn't really expect that. I don't know why I thought they were just all the same size, which is dumb. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so if you've never seen the difference, there you go. That one is light. This one's 40 pounds. The little one I can move around throughout the day and it's no big deal. I'll try to move that one around throughout the day. I think it's going to be quite a bit harder. Okay, now keep in mind, I am just figuring this stuff out as I go along, but I want to show you what I'm learning. So the back of all the solar panels, this is the smaller 100 watt one, uh, but all of them come with these leads coming off this main power box, and they should all have connectors like this, MC4 connectors, where the one that looks like this is the positive, and the one that looks like this is the negative. Some of the ones I got from Santan Solar, these were mixed up or they had two of the same kind or whatever. Let's take a look at setting one of these connectors up. So in them, they just connect together like that. So there's the same thing. Connect them like this. So in this case, hooking up the positive, the red side, I would want it to be this one. So these would go together as such. So let's hook up some of this wire. These are all the pieces. And then we've also got these guys, which are the actual connectors for the electrical connection. The, you can see one is fatter and one is thinner. The fatter one goes in the thinner connector. But let's get some wire out and then we'll do that. So I want my, my positive red to go attached to this one. So that's this guy. So we'll take this is 12 gauge wire. I should probably be using 10, but this will work for one panel going into the tent. So we take that, uh, so we want the skinny one, goes in here as such, and then we can just kind of crimp this guy down. I'm sure there's special tools for this or whatever, but that's all we really need. And then we take that and that that. And we want to make sure that this is pushed 
in as far as it'll go. There we go. So that's all the way in. So the rubber piece goes in the crimper piece and all that goes into there. And you can see there's little teeth on that that lock that into place. And then now that connects to there and makes a connection, makes the electrical connection. Same thing on the other side. And again, make sure that's pushed in as far as it'll go. And there we go. Now we can run these, run this wire to our charge controller. Let's check inside. All right, we got green flashy light, which means charging. <clears throat> We've also got 15.4 volts, six amps going in. So let's connect up the other one and see what that looks like. We had 15 and 6 on the little one. Let's see what the big one is. All right, charging again. And then 28, 29 volts and 7.2 amps. So that's this much difference in wattage. And here's the specifications on the big one. So that's pretty good. It was doing 27 volts, 7 amps. So that's pretty close. And it's not like that's set up to the appropriate azimuth or whatever. <laughs> what does it say? Help says Peg Giz Gus. Gus. So that was pretty cool. I was able to use my computer for a couple hours without having to run the generator. So that's a first. So now what we want to do is actually get multiple solar panels set up and get an office set up in the dome for both of our laptops, maybe some more stuff. All right, so we just got some one by twos under here as spacers and just clamping them together. And then my hope is, nope, that does not look like it's gonna work. Can you grab from the middle there? Yeah. Let's see if it'll just stand up. All right, that seems <laughs> solid enough for me for the moment. Behold the jank. <laughs> A bunch of leftover scraps from the one by two from building the outhow. Ten $3 clamps. So we're gonna lean this up against here. Probably end up having to brace the sides. Okay, okay. Yes, it's fine. I planned for this. this uh, I still have good. to hook all this shit up. What we should do Oof. is put some boards sticking. Yeah. Or even the buckets or something. I don't know. That definitely needs more support. There we go. That helps. Oh, that looks a lot better. Ganktastic. We have the power of Gray School. <laughs> All right, Gwen, what do you got? Where are you? Gwen! Gwen, where are you? Right here. Oh. Where did you want to show me? My bed. You got your own bed. Wow, very cool. Oh, Jules has got the elephants. Yep, so that's you're on Jules' bed right now. And then your bed's right here. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, don't jump on the bed. That's very exciting. I love this. Very cool. Did you say thanks to mom? I love you, mom. Thank you. 
All right, the, that's hooked up. So that's four 240 watt panels. So that's 960 watts. So almost a kilowatt system. We have one of those already hooked up to a 100 amp hour battery. And that gets us through the day. Every day I can work on my laptop during the day with that. We're hoping that with this, we'll be able to run both laptops and maybe a few other little things. We'll still have another panel set up and a battery and a system set up in the tent that will run the Wi-Fi and the router and charge the Curl's Kindles and our phones and that kind of stuff while we sleep. And then in here will be more of an office that will hopefully be able to run our laptops without much of an issue. I got four batteries on order for 100 amp hour batteries. So we'll have almost a kilowatt and 400 amp hours to run our office. Let's hope that works. Our all right, can you help me by opening up that fan? See the box right by the door? This? Yeah, can you open that? Oh, I did this one. I got this one. You got that one? Can you open it up for me? Oh, how? Yeah, help me help me by opening it up. I'll try. All right. I'll use my super strength. Okay. No, you just pull pull this. Here, pull this out. There you go, like that. And then pull this up. There you go. Can you pull the fan out of there? Super strength! Super strength! Can you help me? Can I help? Yep, yeah, I'll help you. Okay, you hold the box. All right, yay! Wait, there's something else in there. Yep, yeah, that's the instructions. We don't need that. Yeah. Yeah. Know how fans work. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we already know how fans work. Yeah. Well, thank you for helping me get that out of there. I can tell mommy I helped you. Okay. So she knows that I do a very good job. Yep, you're a big helper. Thank you. I'm gonna tell her that I actually helped you. Yep. Uh huh. That, that, that. Actually helped. You sure did. Now look, I'm not trying to make anybody jealous or anything. Like I know lots of people who spend a lot of money on their mahogany desks and their Herman Miller chairs. And so I'm not trying to flex when I'm showing off our battle stations with our $26 camp chairs. Here comes grandma. Here comes grandma. I'll slip on my skis and whoosh down the mountain to see you. I'll put on my skis and whoosh down the mountain to see you. <laughs> Apparently, using these tiny wires, I mean, I thought it was gonna... I knew that it's supposed to matter, but I didn't think that it really did. But it totally does, because it burnt this out. Because uh, they're too small. So, uh, now I gotta get bigger ones. So I got jumper cables, and I got terminal lugs, and some solder, and, and some liquid tape. Electrical tape. I also got another, a different cable for going across there. And I got a new uh, power inverter. All this stuff's from Harbor Freight. These are moving blankets. They were $10 each that we're going to use to try and insulate a little bit around here. This inverter, it says, uh, only use two aug cable up to six feet long. And then don't uh, blow up your inverter. Whereas the other one didn't say anything like that. And so I used two small of cables. And so this is two aug cable two gauge and then this I think is 12 so that's uh significantly too small Ooh, we could go roller skating fun I like it I like that we could definitely do that I couldn't find any of these that were the right size, so I'll make it fit. All right.
right, power strips on. Power strips on. Laptop is charging. I'm scared. Why? You're not the one up there. No, I swear that. You can try. Okay, I'm the next person. Okay. Rice! Look at that! Look at our mini rice cooker. Don't burn your face. Mini rice cooker! Wow! That's cool! Apparently, there are power outages in town. It's a shame. This is my kind of day. <laughs> Buying a fridge. <laughs> All right, three more 100 amp hours of batteries plus two plus. So we got like 700 amp hours of batteries. So now we got uh, a fridge. Least power consumption one we could find. It's under 300 kilowatt hours estimated per year. I don't want to figure out what that translates to whatever anything else is. And since we burnt up the electric one, we got a gas powered wood chipper. It's like 11 a.m. The batteries are almost full. I've been on my laptop all morning. So I think it's time to hook up more batteries. Right now we've got the two 105 amp hour batteries that I bought at the auto parts store. They're deep cycle marine batteries. So apparently when I said that we were going to need an office now, I meant like a corporate office with like a fridge and assortment of cookware. Like here's a little 700 watt kettle and here's a 600 watt little cook plate. Whoops. Now everything we have is covered in dust like all the time. So we just wash it right before we use it. That's why this still has some egg in it. We got a little pancake maker back here, 350 watts. And then we got our little rice maker, which is like 200 watts. We've got our four 100 amp hour batteries. We've got our 1000 watt inverter. We can see by the little flashing lights down here that the batteries are totally full and the solar panels are still hooked up. It is 12.40 in the afternoon. I have been working on editing this video all day. Our batteries are full with the fridge going, charging batteries, we're charging Kindles. So we are doing really well. Power sorted out, weather's warming up, we got popsicles in the fridge. Very pleased all around. Next up, bandsaw mill. Also in tandem, uh, one thing that's not going very well is our internet. AT&T is throttling us pretty hard. We use like a hundred gigs a month between all four of us. And uh, they don't apparently like that when we go over 20 or 30 gigs. Anyway, uh, pretty frequently the internet's not good. So pretty soon, Starlink.